Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. I've got another full day of eating for you today featuring a couple of fall inspired meal ideas and I'm working with Thrive Market again on this video. I know a lot of you will already be familiar with Thrive Market but they're just by far my favorite place to buy most of my pantry staples and also to find new vegan ingredients and snacks. Everything's 25 to 50% off what you pay in stores, comes straight to your door and on top of that I just love everything the company stands for. They're all about making healthy eating more affordable affordable and accessible and they're offering a 30 day free trial and a total of $60 off your groceries if you're interested. I'll have it linked down below and with that, let's get cooking. I started off my morning with a cup of Ticino. I've shown this before. This is an herbal coffee substitute. It's caffeine free and I added a splash of the pecan caramel pecan caramel creamer by Califia Farms. I'm always browsing new vegan items on the Thrive Market website using this handy dandy vegan filter. While I sipped on that, I made a sweet potato breakfast bowl. For that, I cubed a sweet potato and I usually leave the skin on for the extra fiber. Then I steamed it until it was soft and I pureed that with a splash of soy milk. I topped it with some sliced banana. And I also added some fresh raspberries. Then a sprinkle of cinnamon and some cacao nibs. Specialty ingredients like cacao nibs or any of the superfoods that I like to put on my smoothie bowls or my oatmeal always tend to be more affordable on Thrive Market. So that's where I got these nibs and I finished it with a drizzle of maple syrup. And this is just a nice cozy breakfast alternative to oatmeal. For lunch, I made this harvest salad. I started by massaging some lemon juice into my kale to soften it. I almost always take this step. I just think it makes my kale eating experience superlative, just, just 10 times better. And I also added some diced green apple. I also added some steamed golden beet. I don't know if there's, is there any flavor difference between regular and golden beets? Cause I, I just like the golden ones because they don't stain everything. But I also added some pumpkin seeds for some zinc and some cranberries. Then I tossed in some leftover quinoa that I had just cooked in veggie broth with some onion and garlic the day before. I reheated it in the microwave first. I like, I like to have a warm element in my salads usually. And then for the dressing, I took some of this maple almond butter. Okay, this, this is some fancy almond butter by Justin's. And I've been eyeing this, but it's like $15 at Whole Foods. It's still pricey on Thrive Market, but it's a couple bucks off. I finally said treat yourself, um, but I am gonna ration it, ration it out. But I combine a little bit of that with a splash of apple cider vinegar and some mustard, and just made a nice little sweet, creamy, spicy dressing. Okay, I went all out for dinner. I made these tempeh tacos, including some homemade pumpkin flatbread. I used a recipe from the vegan Richa. I don't, okay, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but I borrowed the recipe from her blog. I'll link it down below. But for those, I combined some whole wheat and all-purpose flour with some spices and pumpkin puree. I added water gradually. And then I pressed the dough into a ball. I kneaded it until it was smooth and I covered it and let the dough relax for about 15 minutes. Then I split the dough into six pieces and I rolled each out into a thin circle. And I cooked them on a skillet, nice hot skillet. It, they didn't even take that long, maybe a minute in total until they were slightly blistered. Then I sort of improvised this tempeh taco meat recipe. I just combined some tempeh with some sun-dried tomatoes that I had soaked in hot water. I also added some canned adobo peppers, some chili powder and cumin. 
I processed that, I added a little bit of the soaking liquid from the tomatoes until it was almost, almost the texture of chorizo. And I just heated that in a skillet for my tacos. Then I combined some chopped kale, some red cabbage, cilantro, shredded carrots, and I massaged in some lime juice, salt, and pepper. And then finally, in an attempt to be just very fancy, I pureed some soaked cashews with some cilantro and lime. Then the very last thing I added to my tacos was a sprinkle of some more pumpkin seeds. Finally, for dessert, I had a slice of these amazing pumpkin chocolate bars. Um, this is not my recipe. I will link it down below on the My Whole Food Life blog, but I had made these a couple days back, and for these, I pitted some medjool dates, and I added those to a food processor with pecans, pumpkin puree, and some spices. Then I pulsed it to make this crumbly, sticky mixture. I pressed half of that into a grease pan. Then for the middle layer, I just combined some cocoa powder. I was so excited when this got to my house. Thrive Market actually offers their own brand of a lot of pantry staples like this, and you can really easily filter by organic or gluten-free or non-GMO. That's how I found this ginormous bag of raw cacao because I, I always go through the little tubs that you'd get at the supermarket, like, like that. Like, that's me snapping, by the way. I can't really snap. Anyway, off on a tangent, uh, maple syrup and coconut oil also in that middle layer. Then I put the other half of that crumbly date pecan mixture on top and back into the freezer to firm up. And these are really, really good. They are very rich, I will say. So I have been working through the pan little by little and I just had a little piece on this day. So that's everything that I ate on this day. I for sure went a little bit overboard. I don't usually cook that much in one day, but it was fun and I just got really excited and I wanted to share some fall themed recipes with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and maybe got inspired too. And if you're interested in trying out Thrive Market, the free trial and getting $60 off your groceries, again, I'll have it linked down below. Check it out, let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video. Peace. <laughs>